what if I just made a video of me just fixing my hair for like nine minutes straight? <laughs> That'd be so weird. Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about sidecar. How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Zatu. Welcome to another Wedding Walkthrough Wednesday. Today we are going to be talking about the sidecar feature in Final Cut Pro. And if you don't know what sidecar is, well, this is for all you dual monitor setup people. I am one of those people that have two monitors or a dual monitor person. And I have a ViewSonic VP3481 as my like main monitor. And then I have my MacBook Pro 2019 Vega 20 um, MacBook Pro. Uh, 15 inch. I'm a dual monitor setup kind of guy. I always enjoyed having two monitors. It makes me feel professional as hell. And I, uh, you know, just like workflow, get things done, you know, like, ooh, that's why I have the whole setup from episode two of this series was like showing my trackpad and, and Logitech keys and my Logitech mouse, just because I really like to get things done. <laughs> But anyway, um, this might be a feature that you probably don't know about or you maybe looked at this little part on your uh, top bar on Final Cut Pro and you're like, what the heck is that? Every time you plug into another monitor or if you are editing off of a MacBook Pro and you use an external monitor. So I'll show you guys how to use it and uh, pros and cons. <laughs> Why do I smile like that? You probably will never see this feature if you don't have dual monitors or you're not plugged into an external monitor. Um, so, I mean, just click off this video and wait till next week. Hopefully we find something that will help you or is more tailored to you. But if you want to stick around, by all means, stick around. But you will see here, up here by like the six little boxes uh, box, that there is this two monitor setup. I don't know if it's actually called sidecar. Um, I like to call it sidecar. So I will call it sidecar. So if you click on this drop down arrow, it'll tell you what you could prioritize on your second screen. Um, if you want your timeline on that second screen, your viewer or your browser. I personally will mostly rock with my browser on my sidecar if I do want to use sidecar view. But most of the other times, like if I'm calling, I'm probably listening to Spotify or music bed, just trying to get more music into my brain and try to really feel the edit. But if I'm color grading, you know, like again, I'll probably just either put my view scope, my, my scopes there or just rock with some music and just get some color grading done you know lo-fi music when you're color grading definitely gotta just try it out it really gets you in the mood or just today's top hits if you're spaz like me I, I like today's top hits don't hate man i'm an r&b guy if i put timeline for my sidecar and i click on it you will see on the other monitor that it is the timeline this is really cool if you really want to see your timeline from like a different perspective but Depending on how close you have your two monitors set up together, I, I usually have this monitor right in front of where the camera is, so I can't really show that to you right now, but I don't really use this that often. Or I don't really put the timeline on my secondary monitor. Here's what it looks like what I normally do, and that is my browser. Just because it gives me a lot more screen real estate in terms of like editing, I can really see the timeline and the actual what I'm looking at on the screen. I have more space, I like having more space. And trust me, like editing on like a huge monitor and then editing on like a 15 inch MacBook Pro, like only on the 15 inch MacBook Pro, it's like I'm missing something. But this is what it looks like when I have my browser over here with all the clips I'm looking for when I am making my skeleton edit and the huge real estate of my viewer. But I'll show you what it looks like when you have your viewer toggled. Again, I don't really use this i mean maybe if i want to check like color accuracy on different monitors i would probably use this but at the moment i don't use this um setup i only use the browser and maybe the timeline one on the secondary one but not often or if i just want to like really look at my time like hey that looks that looks pretty sick nice little barcode i have going on over there but anyways that is all i have today uh, if you aren't a dual monitor setup kind of guy, again, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully next week you'll find something that will better help you. And if you are on the fence of going dual monitor, highly suggest you do. Not, and this isn't even legit dual monitor. This is just the MacBook Pro monitor and my like actual color accuracy monitor. You, I mean, 
shoot, I, I mean, if I had the money, I'd definitely buy two of these. But, no. <laughs> That's overkill. For now, for now. Comment down below what you use as your monitor setup. Are you a dual monitor guy? Are you a just a MacBook Pro and a monitor guy? Or are you just a MacBook Pro guy? Or if you're balling with a Mac Pro, like, what are you doing watching this video? <laughs> no, by all means, I appreciate every comment down below. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like the video if you liked it, share if you're into that, consider subscribing if you're not already, and hit that bell notification to stay up to date when I post new videos. And as always, follow me on all the social medias at Aaron Datu Films. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. and hit that bell notification and see all the blah, blah, blah. bruh and my hair looking flat today <laughs> two weeks in a row if you're into that consider subscribing if you're not already hit that bell notification if you are mm, my god i can't freaking talk bruh